Hey Star Wars Unlimited Dark Side fans, this is the 66 brother of the Luft Wolf Pack posting a deck tech for my Palpatine deck. I am calling it Heal and Steal. It's a mono green Palpatine deck. Basically the purpose of this deck is to kill units early on while healing as much as possible. Ramp whenever possible to get to the larger units and get your Palpatine out. Finally, you get to close out the game with one of the, the big green ships or the reinforcement walker, which also gives you some major healing late game. So for the first draw of six, I'm usually looking for a resupply or a super laser tech or both. Uh, if you get one of those, I would recommend keeping the hand. Hopefully you can get one of those and a command, and that would pretty much be a good starting hand. Now let's go look at the cards in the deck. The first card I'm going to talk about is the Viper Probe Droid. That is probably going to be your best card to get to play in the first round. It basically allows you to look at your opponent's hand so you can see what's coming. If they're playing Sabine, you can see what's going on. If they're going space or ground, it's basically the best way you could start a game is with the Viper Probe Droid and some ramp. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the ramp cards. Obviously, we got your resupply, three of those. Then we're going to get the super laser tech. This is pretty standard ramp stuff, but because we are playing mono green, we are also including in the command. This card obviously allows you to ramp, but that it also allows you to either give two experience tokens to a unit or deal damage to a non-unique enemy unit. This is also helpful in the Sabine matchup or even against Bubba where you just take out a quick unit with your Viper Probe Droid or another unit you have out there. It basically helps you to stay alive longer. The next cards we're going to talk about are the Steel cards. Obviously you got your Palpatine. When he deploys at 8 resources he will allow you to take control of a damaged non-leader unit. Basically, do not deploy him unless you have someone to steal. It's a waste of his power if you just deploy him to do the 4 damage. You basically need someone to steal. Usually around the 8 resource mark, there's many different units you can steal. There's a Vader, there's Unit Bubba, there's uh, the Fire Spray, there's Luke, there's just pretty much a plethora of units to steal from. Pick the unit you want to steal the most and grab it. Another card we have for the steal is Traitorous. This can come out a little earlier than Pelp. It's good to steal like a Millennium Falcon or a Sabine. You can go with Unit Bubba Fett. Basically any unit that's giving you trouble early on just steal, take away, do damage with it. The next thing we're going to talk about are the heal cards. Colonel Ularin is a good, is a perfect fit for this deck. Colonel Ularin allows you to heal one damage from your base whenever you play a green unit, and that does include himself. He is great for this deck because the majority of the cards are going to be green. And basically, not too many people like to kill him early on. He does allow you to heal one damage many times if an opponent does not kill him. Another one is the Star Viper. Basically, if you have the initiative, he allows you to gain Restore 2. This is pretty much huge because you're not using Palpatine's action too often. So you will have the initiative more times than not. So that Restore 2 will be active. Another one is more of a late game card, but it's the Reinforcement Walker. When played, you can look at the top card and either draw that card or discard it to heal 3 damage from your base. The majority of the time you will be discarding it to heal 3 damage. The cool thing about this card is it happens when played and it also does on attack. So if you are able to give this ambush, you will get this twice and you could heal 6 damage in one setting. 
Onto the power units, obviously we talked about the Reinforcement Walker, that's a late game card, but we also got the man, Darth Vader. Uh, allows you to search 10 cards, find a villain unit with a combined cost of 3 or less and play them for free. Usually you are trying to find a cell block guard to basically just protect yourself so they don't do any more damage to your base. Uh, other cards you could pull from are your Shore Trooper or even your Viper Probe Droid. Another power unit is the Devastator. Uh, obviously, you, as you can see on the screen, 10 10 10, Sentinel Overwhelmed, and when played, you deal damage to a unit equal to the number of resources you control. So you're going to have 10 resources when you play it. It basically takes out any big unit on the board pretty much if you get this card out I'm guessing you have the game one already but this just seals the deal uh, the next chunk of cards we're gonna talk about are my Sentinels obviously you got your cell block guard that I talked about earlier it's your standard 333 Sentinel it does its job protects your base and soaks in damage on the ground unit next is Homestead Militia It's a 334 and it only gets Sentinel when you have six or more resources. This does tend to happen a lot earlier because you are ramping so much. So it pretty much becomes a Sentinel early in the game. And it gives you that extra little health to soak in just a bit more damage. The next is the Gladiator Star Destroyer. Uh, this allows you to give Sentinel to any unit, but it's just for the phase. It's and you could also give it to itself, which is huge in the space arena because there aren't too many space cards in here. So, if you need to give Sentinel to it to protect yourself, you could do it. And it has six health, which can soak up a lot of damage. Another Sentinel that I got is the Emperor's Royal Guard. Obviously, this card gets plus one health when you have Palpatine, which he is always active so he's pretty much a 3-5 and he only gains sentinel when you have an official unit my officials are Ularin, Piet, and Palpatine so I pretty much have seven hits for an official for the most part the Emperor's Royal Guard is your sentinel he is also a villain so he can be pulled with Vader other cards in the deck that I run are Admiral Piet. Basically, each friendly non leader unit that costs six or more gains ambush. Uh, this pretty much implies to the Devastator, Reinforcement Walker, or even the Gladiator Star Destroyer. He's basically here for the Reinforcement Walker ambush, but he's also a cheap unit that is an official. And he is also a villain. Another card I have is the Seasoned Shore Trooper. Again, along with the Homestead Militia, when you control six or more resources, he gets plus two attack. So you pretty much get to six resources pretty quick. So he should become a 4-3 early on. Uh, he is also a good target for my next card, the Overwhelming Barrage. Plus two, plus two for the phase, and then deal damage divided amongst their units. This card can pretty much be played on any unit to allow you to reach your endgame. You could play it on a Ularan, you could play it on a Consortium Star Viper, or even your Piet if you need the help. It does allow for a quick kill of their units. So you could reach your end game, which undoubtedly will be stronger than their end game. Now on to my sideboard. I got two of the Academy Training. This is basically a card that gives you plus two, plus two to any unit on your board. I pretty much have it in here for the Sabine matchup. It allows you to kind of boost one of your units to keep it in line with a wing leader play by Sabine. I like that you could also use it in space. The next card is General Vares. I do have many 
Imperial units in this deck. So if you feel that Veers would help out, swap them out. This might be one of the first cards I would take away from the sideboard, but for now, I'll leave them in with two. Next card is Escort Skiff. As you've seen, we have many green units. So, while you control a green unit, this unit gains Ambush, so it basically becomes a 4-4-4 Ambush, which again, can kill units early and take you to your endgame. Two of this one. The next one, Rook. He is a great way to kill units again and bring you to your end game. He comes in shielded. You could use him with your ECL to get a quick kill. Two of him, and I do feel he's probably needed in the Bubba Fett matchup. The last card in my sideboard is Relentless. This is another ship. Usually it's kind of meant for people who like to play events because it stops them from doing any waylays late game this i could see in the bubba fett matchup well thanks for watching this deck tech i hope you guys go out there and play some more palp because i hate seeing sabine run the meta